friends, it's Living Young Country Girl, and I am here again today to talk to you guys about this, the Norris um, Sienna backpack. This backpack is absolutely incredible. You guys have seen my last video on it. Um, I had a lot of questions about what all I packed in my packing cube, so I am going to do this video um, for our trip to Hawaii for seven nights, um, eight nights and seven days, and how I packed everything again for our trip in this little backpack. Now, I will say I am bringing on a small um, roll-on suitcase that fits as a carry-on, it's considered a carry-on, that does have our snorkel and um, masks in them. So all four of our snorkels and masks are in that suitcase along with like my son's clothes and some extra stuff just because I figured since we can bring one on, it's included in the airfare rate, might as well do that. Um, and then he doesn't have to carry a backpack. So that makes it easier. <laughs> Our puppy's getting all snuggled in, ready for the video. So let me flip the camera and show you guys what all I packed in there. And I will be sure to show you guys what I packed in my packing cubes as well. So let's flip this camera and get to this story. Okay, guys. So here's my backpack completely stuffed to the max this time. Um, I will start from the side pockets. You guys have seen these before. You have a nice padded pocket right here. Two other pockets. I like to keep my charging cord in one of the pockets. I have some eyeglass cleaners, um, a little small Uno game. So when we're waiting or if we're on the plane, we can play that. Um, and then if I need anything like protected, I can throw it in here. And it's just really quick and easy. Now, the reason I love this actual keeping my cord right here is because see this little spot right here. I hope you guys can see that. Um, this little spot right here is actually a battery charging port. So all I have to do is plug in to right here and then charge whatever I need to charge. So I love this feature. Um, it is such a great thing to do. It does not come with the actual battery pack and I will show you guys inside what I mean by that. Um, you can provide whichever kind you want. So if you have one that, you know, has quite a few charges or just a simple small one, whatever you want to do, you can add that to it. Um, another great feature is this strap right here that can go over your suitcase handle. So I can just drop this on my suitcase handle and then just roll my suitcase. Um, it also has this hidden pocket, which is really nice. Like we keep extra copies of our IDs and our passports in here. And once that's actually in there, it's not as noticeable. You can tuck that in there and you won't see it at all. And it's really a nice like little hidden pocket um you can see this sitting against my back is probably the dirtiest area which is kind of gross but being against my back is probably the dirtiest area just because of, i'm sure just i have a dark jacket on and i think some of the coloring did fade on that but otherwise i have taken this backpack with me traveling um on the air we had a, a week at disneyland you guys and this material holds up really good as far as not getting dirty and i love that so I have a spot here to put a water bottle, which is absolutely amazing. Love having an easy access, accessible water bottle. Um, we always bring our empty metal water bottles and then we just go ahead and refill them when we get past security. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Now this compartment is actually made for a laptop, but I do not bring my laptop when I travel, so I never use it, but it is padded. So if you do wanna bring a laptop, you actually can bring a laptop in this top compartment here. Um, for myself, I have all of my liquids, my shampoos, my face washes, conditioners, lotions, hair products are all in my little bag so I can easily take it out for TSA. Um, I have an extra case full of charging batteries just because we have a large family and um, this way whenever they need it, since they're not necessarily attached to the backpack like I am, they actually use these. And then I actually have, what do I have way down here? Oh, this is my socks, my underwear, my swimsuit, my um, pajamas. I won't unpack this cube just because it is personal undergarment items, but this has all of my undergarment items, extra tank tops, my, um, like I said, my swimsuit, my pajamas, all of those kind of things are in this cube right there. All of that fit in this little area, guys, like all of these. So pretty freaking amazing how much stuff you can fit in to this bag. Okay, let's get to the big main compartment here. All right, so this big main compartment, um, I could totally compact this down, and I actually might replace this with a smaller one because I, 
only have a few things in here. Um, but this is my makeup bag. And like I said, I think I need a, I might just pop it out and just take this part because really that's all there is. And then a couple things, um, make it a little smaller. So this is my makeup bag. Definitely think I can make that smaller. So I'll be working on that. Um, this is just, again, I have all of my family's toothbrushes in here. So I have not just my stuff. I have actually stuff for my family as well. Um, I have all of our toothbrushes, hairbrushes, a little flattening iron, which is just like a little small travel size with a warm bag, razor, those kind of things, dental floss, hair accessories, things for the bathroom that aren't liquid. So I don't have to take them out for TSA. Then we have, let's get into this big part. Here's all of my clothes for the week. Um, and then I have a tripod in here, a pin. There's all kinds of multiple pockets in here. You've got a big pocket right here. You have some small pockets. This has some extra, more toiletries, uh, medicinal things, personal items. And then here is my battery bank. So this is my battery bank. Um, now if you see, there's a cord in here. What you do is you attach this to your battery bank. I like to keep my battery bank in this little padded pocket right here. And then I'm ready to go. I don't plug it in until I'm actually traveling because we're not actually heading out for a couple days because I don't want to start like draining my battery. So I don't plug it in until we're actually traveling. The other great thing is this pocket right here is actually waterproof. So you can put anything wet in here. We have done this um, numerous times where our bathing suit was still wet. And so we just threw our bathing suits in here, which is really nice. Um, ideally, if you weren't flying, you could put your toiletries in here. But since we're flying and you have to remove them, you have to do that. I think it'd be really cool if they actually made this like snap on or like clip on somehow. So that way you could pop it off at TSA and then put it back on. But um, I, I still like having this wet compartment here or a compartment for wet clothes here. So that is what the bag all entitles all of the pockets. Oh, I forgot. We have one more pocket over here. So on the other side, we have those two pockets over here. We have another pocket. I like to keep my sunglasses. It's actually made for sunglasses. It's nice and soft and scratch resistant material. A spot to hang your keys. And I usually will have like a magazine or something in here too, just for entertainment purposes um, that I will grab closer to when we leave so it's brand new and I don't have to, you know, won't have read it. So that is the bag all empty. You can see how small it is. It's super lightweight when it's empty, which I absolutely love because a lot of times they can be pretty heavy, you know, right off the bat. And this is not heavy. It comes in multiple colors, guys. Like again, I chose this light one. I just thought it was really nice and I thought it would look really nice with um, just whatever I wore. Um, I think I would love to get a dark colored one as well because we've really enjoyed this and I think it'd be nice for my husband to have like one as well for packing. And I think I would go with the dark color just because why not? <laughs> All right, let's get into our packing cube. What do I actually have in here? Because you guys have wanted to see this. This was an issue with my last video. So we want to make sure we show you guys. So again, like I said, we're going to be there for seven days, eight nights. And this is my clothes. I am flying out wearing some leggings and um, a little like actually a little jumper suit and some flip flops. I did put my tennis shoes into our bag. If I did not have that extra bag, I would have actually worn my tennis shoes and packed my flip flops, which like I did last time, I packed my flip flops and just stuck them in this compartment right here. So that way they did not get everything else dirty. But since this time I have the extra bag, I decided to wear my flip flops because I actually do prefer wearing flip flops on a plane. Okay, so right here I have just a basic cover up, um, like a light, thin, what are these called? Oh gosh, kimono like jacket thing. Um, this is one I'm just actually gonna wear with my shorts, so it's not actually wearing it with my bathing suit. Um, my cover up is actually in that bag that had my personal items. I have a little beach cover up as well in there. Um, so I have that and that is going to go with, I have some jean shorts. So I will wear the jean shorts and that on one day along with a tank top. So this is just like a regular tank top. Um, it's a nice big flowy one. So I just tuck the front in. So that's going to be one outfit. Now, if you guys travel and you travel light, you know, you rewear your jeans. You don't just wear them once. Um, so another day's outfit will be the same jean shorts with a t-shirt just a striped t-shirt that's like a nice outfit I also have this flannel that I can tie around my waist just as an extra little light jacket I also like just the way that looks um, and I can wear this outfit with flip-flops or G or tennis shoes depending what we're doing if we're hiking or something it's a great one to wear tennis shoes if we're doing something maybe less um, active then I can wear it with flip-flops so 
that is one outfit. So we have this for a day. Um, these are actually just some extra tank tops. I always like to have some extra tank tops because you never know. I can always add one of these tank tops and wear this, you know, if I just decide to change it up, whatever. Um, let's see, what is this right here? Oh, this is another tank top. Now this is one I'll actually wear. Um, it says y'all need these oils because I love my oils. So I gotta have my y'all need these oils shirt. And again, I can wear that with the jeans and tie this around my waist really cute outfit for you know going hiking or stuff because we are planning on hiking in a couple of the days um and then i love this dress i picked this dress up off of amazon and i love it it is so cute oh i kind of still have the tag on it um it's this really cute dress it actually has little pockets in it which i love having dresses with pockets and i love the little like scallop like how it comes up on the sides i need to do a whole amazon haul i'm working on it i just haven't had a chance to do it um, but I picked up quite a few really cute outfits lately off Amazon, and I will be sharing that with you. So this outfit is for one of the days, too. Um, whatever we may do, I don't know, throw it over a bathing suit, whatever. You can do it multiple things. Now, this is also a dress. This is a long dress. This is one I picked up at Amazon as well. Um, it has pockets. It has these really cute slits up on the side, and it's actually really cute. Sometimes, like, you can just tie it up in the front, and it looks really cute. Um, again, I can throw it over a bathing suit. I thought um, we we're going to be at the resort and our resort does have, um, it's a condo at Alani or like a villa, the Disney Vacation Club ones. And so it has a wash machine and dryer. So if worst case scenario, I need to wash something, I can. And then we are also staying at our friend's house, which they obviously have a washer and dryer as well too. But um, I thought, you know, maybe one evening we go out to dinner. We're going to be there on Valentine's Day. I thought this red dress would look really nice to go out to dinner. Um, I'm wearing a denim jacket, so I can always add that to it and that I'm wearing on the plane. Let's see, here's another tank top, just like the Y'all Need Oils one. And then the last thing I have is some more leggings that I could wear for hiking, for doing all kinds of things. And I love like plain black leggings just because you can really accessorize different ways with it. Um, you know, I can make it look a little bit nicer. I can make it look more casual. You know, if I put on a tank top and put on my jean jacket or something, it can look a little bit nicer. Um, you know, you can really take black leggings and do a lot with them. So that is what I have packed. So I have one, two, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine actual outfits in here. Um, that I can mix and match. And really the only thing that I'm wearing multiple times is the jean shorts I'll probably wear at least two or three times. Um, and again, if they get dirty, we have a wash machine so we can wash them. If you don't have a wash machine, most people have a sink or something. But that is everything that went into my packing cube. Um, and like I said, bathing suits, cover-ups, underwear, everything are on the other one. So that is everything, you guys. That all fit into this backpack. So I have eight days of stuff for going to Hawaii in one backpack and again like I said I will be wearing I put my tennis shoes in there but like I said on my last trip um I wore my tennis shoes because they are the bigger bulkier thing coming home if we don't have room in that suitcase guess what I'll wear my tennis shoes and throw my flip-flops in my flip-flops were only two dollars and fifty cents I got them at Marshall's on sale so worst case scenario if I have to leave them I leave them but I think it's pretty incredible that we can fit all of that into that bag you guys think how would you pack differently if you guys were heading out to Hawaii for eight days? Um, what are some of your packing tips that you guys use? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Share them with me. If you guys are interested in this backpack, I will be sure to put a link in the description box below where you can get 10% off of your purchase price. Um, this is a sponsored, I guess, video because they did send me this backpack for free and I do get a small commission off of when people order with that link. However, I usually have been sharing what I pack videos way before I ever was sponsored by these people. So I've always loved sharing these kind of videos and this is just a great way to also um, share with you guys a backpack that really has become my only travel bag now. Um, I don't, I was always looking and looking and looking and then since I found this one, I've pretty much stuck with it. So super excited that I finally found one that works for so many great things. And even like just taking it during the day, if I pull everything out and just throw some things in there, it's a great one too. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more about our trip to Hawaii, whoa, sorry about that. Um, be sure to subscribe. I will be sharing not only our Disney vacation club, we have a two bedroom villa there. I will be sharing a full tour of that as well as some of our highlights for our trip. 
so you guys can subscribe. If you guys want to check out the links to the other videos that show this backpack and what I've packed and ways I've used it, I will put all of those in the description box below. I used it for going to Disneyland and what I packed for a day trip to Disneyland, as well as what I packed for um, a trip to Texas with crazy weather from hot to cold. So it was really kind of challenging to pack all of those. But if you guys want to see more about this, be sure to subscribe and be sure to check out those links in the description box below. And until next time, you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you guys all real soon. Bye for now.